Alright, welcome back. In the last video we calculated the fixed end moments and now we're ready to do our different distributions. To start, we always pick either one of the middle joints, so we never really start at the very, very ends of the beam. Uh, we start somewhere in the middle. Um, in our case, uh, we'll just go ahead and start at joint B and uh, see where it takes us. So, let me do... I guess I can do it in blue. So we start at joint B. So on the left side of joint B, what I'm going to do is sum all the moments. So all the moments acting on joint B, I'm going to multiply it by the distribution factor, and then I'm going to multiply by negative 1 to switch the sign. So 75 plus 150 um, times the distribution factor multiplied by negative 1 should be 32.175 and on the right side I'm going to do the same thing but multiply by the right side distribution factor 0.571 so 75 plus negative 150 times 0.75 times negative 1 you get 42.825 and every distribution has a carryover moment carryover moment, you just bring the moment to the other side and you divide by 2. So 32.175 divided by 2 um, is 16.088. Okay? And on the right side, 42.825 divided by 2 um, is 21.413. So, here, we brought the carryover moment to joint A. We really can't go anywhere with joint A, but we can do something with joint B. So, distribution 2, again, you sum all the moments acting at that joint, multiply it by the distribution factor, and then flip the sign. So, 150 plus negative 225 plus 21.413 times 0.5 uh, would give you a negative 26.794. And then you have to flip the sign to get a positive. So 26.794. And on the right side, again, 150 plus negative 225 plus 21.413 times 0.5 times negative 1 would also give me 26.794. And each of these has a carryover moment. So you just divide by 2. This gives you 13.397. And on this side, you should also get 13.397. So now we're here back at joint B. So for distribution 3, on this left side, we sum all the moments. So you do 75 plus negative 150, plus 32.175, plus 42.825, plus 13.97, times 0.429 should give you positive 5.747. You flip the sign, you should get a negative 5.747. On the right side, you sum all the moments. Oops. What just happened? Okay. So on the right side, actually, let me zoom in just a little bit more. Okay. So on the right side, you get all of the moments 75, negative 150, 32, 42, and then you have the 13. Um, you should get a positive, or, and then you multiply it by. 0.571 um, you should get negative after you've switched the sign you should get negative 7.650 and then both of these have a carryover moment so you divide each of them by 2 you get on this side you get negative 2.874 and on this side you get a negative 3.825 Oops, I'm sorry. This should actually be this should actually be down here. Negative three point 
um, 825. So this arrow comes over here. And then now we're back at joint C. So joint C, you do the same thing. You sum 150, negative 225. All the moments acting on joint C, it's 150, negative 225, 21.4, 26.7, 26.7, negative 3.8. Then you multiply it by 0.5 and you switch the sign and you should get 1.912. On the right side, you do the same thing. You sum all of them, multiply it by 0.5, uh, flip the sign, you should also get 1.912. And then each of these has a carryover moment. So 1.912 divided by 2 is 0.956. And on this side, you divide by 2, you get 0 0.956, okay? And since our carryover moment is now, a carryover moment is less than 1, we can stop. It's, it's a pretty safe place to stop, okay? So now what we have to do is we have to sum all the moments in each column. So to sum this column AB, we're going to do negative 225 plus 16 point uh, 088 minus 2.874 uh, we should get negative 211.786 and then you do the same thing in column BA so 75 plus 32 minus 5.4 or 0.7 uh, should be 101.428 uh, and then the sum of the moments in this column should be negative 100.472. Notice that the moment at B is 101 on the left side and negative 100 on the right side. They're about equal in magnitude and they're opposite in direction. So that means joint B, for the most part, is in, is in equilibrium. Now, we go on to CB. We do 150 plus 21.4 plus 26.7 minus 3.8 plus 1.92. And for that, you should get 196, 196.294. And on the right side, again, you just sum the, the moments here. You should get negative 196.294. Notice that these, again, are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. So that means joint C is in equilibrium. And on the, finally, on joint D, we have 225 plus 13.97 plus 0.956. Uh, you should get 239.353. Okay, so those are the moments um, everywhere. In the next video, we'll figure out what the direct auxiliary and total shares are to get our final reactions at B or at A, B, and C. Alright, so see you then.